Seeking a new adventure, something in a style that we haven't done in a really long time, you know. We're so used to kayaking and chasing adventures from the boat and off the bank that sometimes we, we neglect the fact that you can chase adventures on foot. So we found this extremely scenic and beautiful creek that's right here in the heart of DFW, um, kind of just on the outskirts of town and thought this would be the perfect opportunity for us to come out here and do a little micro fishing, you know, because it's not always about catching big fish, you know, big monster bass and everything like that, but there is potential that maybe we could find a creek giant today. So that's kind of what the goal is. Um, we're gonna be throwing some new gear, you know, something that I don't throw a lot of and very often, but we got brand new TFO trout and panfish rod, and we also have the fly rod today. So definitely looking forward to throwing some of that stuff around here. We got some subsurface flies and uh, some sand wine worms and things like that, and we've just, we're just going to make this trek down this creek and see what we can find. So stick with us, stay tuned, and let's go chase them. Got him. Got him. Got <laughs> him. Oh my goodness. It's a gill too. Oh man, that's a decent one, man. Good release. On to the next one. He didn't even get it in his mouth. He swam into it. It went through his head. Oh, quick release. That's a good size gill too. A big old dead snake, holy crap. Right here, he just stuck his head, oh my God. Bro, that's a water moccasin, bro. Yes. He's swimming right there. He just went underneath that tree right there. Oh my God. I don't like that. Where you leave that machete at? Got him, oh. I cannot believe that hit it on top. Little bitty fish on a mayfly. Wow. <laughs> 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 oh! Small little bullfrog. 
so awesome. Chill, bro. I'm going to let you go. <laughs> Nature is so cool. Oh yeah, there is some decent ones over here. Bunch of big ones right there. Oh yeah, dude. Oh, there's a big bass right there. This is where I caught my bass. Oh, hooked up off that first cast, big gill. Oh, that's a good, oh, that's a pretty one too. Come here, bud. Come here. Bro, look at the colors on this fish. Oh my God. Dude, look at the colors on this fish. Mm. That kind of looks like a... Pumpkin seed? Yeah. We're terrible at naming small fish, but that sounds about right. All right, I got your nose pierced, bud. I'm trying to get you, get you free. Mm, another one. <laughs> I really want to catch that big bass in there, guys. I need you guys to chill out so I can actually catch him. That is the one I want. He is right there too. Oh, another one. Bro, that is a good size freaking bass, man. That's the fish I want to catch. I definitely want to catch. Oh, there's two of them in there. You know what? I'm going to see. If, yeah, I, can, so, if so. I can short quarters, close quarters combat that fly into there. Yeah. Bro, that's easily a pound. Uh. <laughs> Got a gill on the top. <laughs> on that mayfly, man. These fish are just so ridiculously aggressive, man. I think I'm gonna switch up the fly, man. I think that bass will eat. He's just not looking up. You know, I mean, of course it'd be awesome to get that topwater bite and that topwater eat, but I don't think, again, I don't think he's paying attention to what's above him. And I think instead he's just looking at what's in front of him. So I'm gonna redo, I'm gonna toss something else on. Bro, these gills, man. Oh man, he sees that gill eating it too. He saw it, he turned on it. I definitely can catch him on this. Hmm, another one. Yeah, I'll probably give this like a handful more casts and we can walk on. And we'll give him a shot on the way back. There we go, back of that pocket, right there. Come on. Got him. I got him. I got him, Charlie, I got him. I freaking got him, bro. I got him. I'm not, man, I'm letting him do his thing. Oh my God, bro, I freaking got him. Oh my God, dude. Oh, geez, bro. Oh, come here, man. 
Oh my God, dude. I freaking got him. Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, there we go. Yes, man. Yes. My second bass on the fly right there, man. That is so awesome. Oh, this is why you get out and seek adventure, man. Because this is the kind of stuff that you can accomplish, man. He ate that fly so good. That is a good fish. This isn't even the biggest one that's floating around over here. I know they look a little bigger than this under the water. So I, I feel like there's a bigger one than this under there, but God, that feels so good, man. So good. Man, that's something. <laughs> that's really something. Get out and seek and chase adventures places like this exist all around you. Oh, man, another deal. Oh, man. I'll tell you, that's something right there. Being able to come out here and chase adventures like these, especially doing something we're not used to doing, you know, we're always in the kayak, so it's a little different to come out here on foot and trek these creeks and these rivers and these streams to find you know, these little fish just like this. I mean, this is an absolute blast. You know, I hope that this inspires you guys to get out here and chase an adventure. You know, because even you can come out here and catch, you know, micro species just like this and have a blast. You know, we've caught, you know, 60 plus fish today. And I mean, what, what more can you ask for? You know, that's what it means to be a creeper. That's all she wrote.